You can exist in circumstance or live in vision. And my team lives in a vision. Thanks for listening today. My name is Kagan with Brightbee. And today on The Person Behind the Professional, we are honored to have Mark Jameson with Allstate. He has an agency of four locations. Uh, I think that's probably the, the most locations that of an agent we've ever talked to. And he's throughout the Dallas and Fort Worth Metroplex. He's also noted as one of the largest Allstate agents in the state of Texas. Also received countless honors, awards like a peak performer with Allstate and ranking in the top five agencies of over 11,000 in the nation. Mark and his agency are also very involved in the communities, through the school system, athletic departments, and more. Mark, thank you so much for being on today. Yeah, you bet. My pleasure. Glad uh, glad that uh, we could get together and share something. Listen, you missed the probably the thing that I'm most proud of about uh, what we've accomplished over the course of time. And tell me, we'll hit our 19th anniversary on September the first. That's not it. But what I'm most proud about is 29 different times uh, in my career, we have been recognized as best of or number one or favorite by consumers in our marketplace. Wow. So of all the accolades I've gotten from Allstate and all that kind of stuff, uh, the thing I'm most proud of is that our own consumers, unaided by the way, none of this, I don't send stuff out. I mean, you know, local newspapers, magazines, radio stations, they run these, you know, hey, tell us who's best in the market. 29 times we've won an award like that. So that that's that's probably the the, uh, the single proudest thing that I could point to in my career in insurance. Well, you must have an amazing team, especially with with four locations. I know you're not doing that all by yourself. Yeah, you know, when I started 19 years ago, and it was just me in one office with one and a half sales or one and a half staff members. I had a full time lady and a part time lady helping me. You know, I did do a whole lot of it. You know, in you know, with four locations now, we serve over 9,000 households in the Metroplex. Uh, it absolutely doesn't happen without great team members. And uh, I couldn't do any of what I do without them. They do a magnificent job. A famous football coach once said that you can exist in circumstance or live in vision. And my team lives in a vision. And our vision is to deliver a customer experience that's unparalleled, not only in the insurance business, but with any of the vendors that our customers do business with, we want them to think of us as the best vendor that they have. And that's a vision. And my team has chosen to live into the vision instead of simply existing in circumstance. So how, how do you do that? It is constant attention to detail. And it's a constant reminder to my team that that's what got us where we are today. It is, I decided a long time ago that we had to have a foundation, a bedrock upon which we would build our business. And I chose customer service as that foundation. I've always believed that if you give great service, people will come to you and they will stay with you. And then ultimately our goal is to make our customers walking, talking billboards for us uh, where they're telling their friends and families and acquaintances, wow, if you want, if you need insurance, you need to talk to Mark Jameson and his team because you just can't beat their service. That makes complete sense. So I, I want to talk a little bit more about where you, where you started, because as, as you okay. said, you did not start with four locations. Uh, not at all. And, and so tell me a little bit about the, the grit that you had. The, what, what did you have to go through to, to get to this point? Well, you know, when I started, I, I, I was not an insurance guy. And by the way, I don't think most people in the industry grow up thinking, hey, man, I'm going to be in the insurance business. It's just not the way it works. I had always wanted to own my own business, and the opportunity that Allstate provides is indeed to be an entrepreneur and to own your own business. And when you're of the personality like me, and this is really a a terrible reflection, I think, maybe, and that is I just, I'd I'd been a corporate guy for 20 years, and unfortunately, I'd never worked for anyone 
that I felt like I couldn't do their job better than they were doing it. And when you're of that personality, you got to own your own business. That's the only way to survive. Yeah. And so I ran into this opportunity, uh, which has just been magnificent for me and my family. Best decision I ever made was uh, becoming an all state agent. And, you know, I got into it not really knowing anything about it. And I, I woke up pretty quickly and went, oh, wow, this is a really crappy job is what I have here, you know, <laughs> and I didn't want a job. I wanted a business. Right. Yeah. Right. And so I had to, you know, frankly, I had to get big quickly or I would have never stayed in it. And uh, so we just made the determination that we had to we had to start growing and we needed to do it at a rapid rate. And things have, uh, you know, I've been extraordinarily blessed in many, many different aspects really blessed beyond belief. You know, it was hard. It was hard work. You don't get to our size, our scale in this industry uh, without, um, like my grandfather used to say, keep your eye on the ball, your nose to the ground and your shoulder to the wheel. You know, you just gotta, you just gotta, you know, kind of, for lack of better description, I'm I'm an East Texas boy. So, you know, lack of better description, head down and butt up. Yeah. It's kind of, the way it works. So what would you say one of the, one of the biggest struggles that you faced? Well, I think the biggest struggle is that there are a number of things that are out of my control, specifically in insurance business pricing. I have zero to do with the pricing, right? Uh, There's no negotiation. You know, we take our consumer's information, we plug it into the machine and there's an algorithm and it spits out a price. And sometimes my price is really, really good. And sometimes my price is maybe not quite so attractive. What I quickly learned was is because I don't control the price, I have I have to rely on things I do control. Now I do control the level of service I deliver. We right. can give a better service experience. Now here's the other thing I'm blessed with: Allstate has the best insurance products in the industry. We offer things that nobody in the industry offers. Listen to this: We guarantee what you're buying because if you're buying insurance, you're buying claims. We guarantee the claim experience. If you don't like the claim experience, we give you your money back. And by the way, we'll do it for any reason, up to and including, and for all the folks that are about to hear this, don't get mad at me (laughs) because my son has red hair. But what I tell people is if you don't like your claims adjuster because he's got red hair, we'll give you your money back. Wow. When I tell you for any reason, we'll give you your money back, it's called claim satisfaction guarantee. We will give you your money back. Nobody in the industry does that except Allstate. So I start out ahead of the game because I got something nobody else gives. Sure. I also have a product that will agree to never raise your rates because of a chargeable accident. There's nobody in the industry that does it like we do. Now, there's a couple of copycats that kind of halfway do it, but not like we do. Because if you're with your typical insurance company and you have a wreck, I can assure you that your price is about to go up 25 to 60% depending on the carrier. I'll give you a product and tell you I never raise your rates because you had an accident. I'll also reduce your deductible by $100 right this second, meaning if you were at a different place and you had a $500 deductible, it's $400 with me. And every year you don't have a wreck, I'll knock it off another $100 bucks all the way down to zero. And then the next cool thing is if you don't file a claim in a six-month period, I'll send you a check for up to 5% of your premium back. I check. You can cash and go buy dinner with or whatever else you want to do. So I guarantee my product. I reduce your deductible. I'm never going to raise your rates. I mean, I got this deal. I got the world by the tail. I got the best products that are guaranteed and I give great service. Well, it definitely sounds like you've got the world by the tail. And the the next question I was going to ask was, how do you work to maintain this growth? But I can already tell you because you believe in your product. You believe in what you're offering. And, and that yeah. helps maintain your growth. But let me ask you this. So some people might be a little hesitant to go with a large agency. You may have heard someone yep. say, well, you know, I, they're, they're so big, I won't ever see the agent. Or wh- what do you see? What do I say to those folks? Well, here's what I say. I am available to any of my customers anytime they want it. Now, I'll tell you this. that We get a lot of calls that say, hey, how much do I owe this month? All right. Now, I'm just going to be straight up with everybody that's listening. If you want to say hi to me, I will, but I'm not going to tell you how much you owe. I've got 25 people that work for me that'll tell you that. I mean, I got a bunch going on. So 
but now if you just say, look, I'm not comfortable with something that's happened to me, whatever, I'll talk to anybody anytime. But the truth is, you know, for kind of the everyday stuff, I simply can't, you know, I can't service 9,000 households. You know, that's probably closer to 20,000 people. Right. I'm just never going to be able to do that. But I can tell you this, that I spend an inordinate amount of time training my staff to believe what I believe and to give great service. And I, I think, you know, just being straight up with you, I think our record speaks for itself. 29 different times our consumers have said we're best of. We're the best insurance agent in the marketplace. So I feel like that's it. But any of my customers that want to talk to me, I'm, abs- I'm never dodging anybody anytime. So how do you balance all this? You know, you're extremely busy and you've got over 20 employees. How do you manage, manage this company and, and leading all these people, but also, uh, you know, you said your, your family. How do you manage that? How does that come together? You know, it, well, first of all, it comes because I got great people. And they're, you know, I, I don't, for lack of better vernacular, y'all forgive me here. I don't have to babysit you, my people. I mean, I, I empower them. Let me tell you what I tell them. You do whatever it takes to make our customers happy. There are three exceptions. Don't break the law. Don't do anything immoral or unethical. And don't do anything that will jeopardize my contract with Allstate. Other than those three criteria, do whatever it takes to make our customers happy. That's how we do it. Do you have a, maybe a particular story where that has happened, where you've empowered one of your employees to, to do something that, that made a world of difference, but it wasn't because of what you told them to do, but what they actually did for the consumer? Recently, we had a customer who just, just did not enjoy their claims experience. Now, we don't handle claims. We're, you know, we, we're the sales and service side. We're not, none of us are licensed to be adjusters. We don't have that ability, but they weren't having a great claim experience. Now we always hop in and try to help to the best of our ability, but we can't all, always fix that. So uh, what they did is they reminded our customer that we have the claim satisfaction guarantee. So we started that process. The customer got their money back. Um, they also got a, uh, a couple of gift cards and sent flowers with an apology. Now they didn't need to call and ask me to do that because they didn't break the law. They didn't do anything immoral or unethical and they didn't jeopardize my contract with Allstate. I got an email later about that situation who said, Mark, you need to know that I was on the verge of leaving you. I wasn't happy, but because y'all stepped in and did everything you could. And really, you didn't need to send flowers or give me gift cards. But because you did that, I'm going to stay with you. Yeah, it's amazing just just what that small gift, small gift would do. And just to, just to notice, just to have even your employees notice that that was a, a need. So that, yeah, that's, yep, that's, really, absolutely. that's really great. So, so Mark, tell me a little bit about the products you offer and the companies now. I know that you are with Allstate, but um, are, are there some other co- companies as well that you represent that Allstate allows well, you? Well, we, so we're called um, an exclusive agent, meaning that I can only sell Allstate products or the ones that they designate that I can sell. Um, and so over the, when I first started, we really only had all state branded products over the course of time, the company recognized that we did, there were some gaps. There are some cluster customers that need something beyond their personal automobile and their personal home and their personal toys protected. Of course we do life insurance and annuities, you know, oh, by the way, we're one of the largest life and retirement producers in the United States in the all state system. Wow. Um, But uh, anyway, on the property and casualty side, you know, we have customers where we do all their personal line stuff, but they had some business line uh, insurance that was not in the market direction of all states. So they have allowed us uh, to go out and uh, in our parlance, we call it broker some products. And so depending on the risk, you know, I've got a number of other companies that we can uh, get insurance from and through with all states permission uh, to do that. 
And that's really helped us because we it kind of closed some gaps for us. So I'm real happy that the company recognized that and allows us to do it. Definitely. Well, Mark, we don't have a, a lot of time left, but I would love to hear five key takeaways from you on insurance life, what you've learned as a business owner. What would those five yeah. be? Well, I think, first of all, you need to, you, you've got to set your priorities in life, you know, first and foremost. Okay, what's most important to you? You know, for me, it's pretty simple in in order, by the way, uh, and in importance. You know, God's at the top, my family's second, and then I, my business is third. Now, I don't, I'm not suggesting that your business or your job needs to be third. I would say to you that if one and two aren't in some level of importance above your job and your business, you should reevaluate. So that'd be the first thing. I would tell you that hard work and great attitude overcome nearly everything. Because I can tell you, you can be the smartest person in the world, but if you don't work hard and don't have a great attitude, it's never going to get you anywhere. I like to tell folks I'm not the brightest bulb in the chandelier, but I don't, there are very few people that are going to be willing to outwork me. So you don't have to be the smartest person ever, but you do have to have uh, perseverance and determination because guaranteed life's going to throw some curves at you sometime and you need to be able to deal with it. And by the way, I also don't think that folks need to get all out of kilter when something bad happens to them. That's just the way it works. You just take it, you accept it, you do the best you can, and you move on. And, you know, throwing a baby fit and pouting about it didn't do anybody any good. And it doggone sure didn't solve the problem. Yeah. But I can tell you this, solving the problem starts with recognizing it and then working your tail off and doing everything you can. And while it may not fix it every time, you've done what's within your control. Uh, and I, I, think that's, uh, I think that's key. And the other thing that I've, I've observed, and, and I'm a, I may be a bit older than your than the folks that are listening to you, and just for reference, those who hear this, I'm 55. I'll tell you this: what I've observed is that the bar has gotten substantially lower. It's not that hard to stand out in the crowd. So I would recommend to all the folks. And by the way, I'm pointing my finger at myself while we're talking. Put that dadgum phone down and that smart thing you got, and pay attention to the people around you. Listen carefully to what they have to say, and then look them in the eye and have a good conversation with them. And turn that damn phone off, and that'll fix a bunch of stuff. And by the way, quit texting everybody. Let's have a conversation. While it's easy to text and while it's easy to send emails, what people value truly is is other people who can communicate with them. It's amazing to me when I see young folks who are sitting side by side, spending quality time together, and they never look at one another. They're just pounding away on the phone. And so what that done, what's, what's that has done is it's lowered the le- it's lowered the bar for success. So when people come in and want to work with me, you know, they want to come to work for me. If they can't look me in the eye and carry a conversation it's just never going to work right right and and you'd be shocked at the number of people that i interviewed that just can't do that they just don't have the ability hell they're nervous sitting there because they're not playing on their phone yeah how's that for takeaways hey i i think they are phenomenal takeaways i think that i'm gonna guess i made about half your audience mad but that's okay they're like, that old coot, he doesn't know anything. Life has passed him by, baby. <laughs> you should hear the other things people say. No, this is, this is phenomenal. And that's, that's, why, that's why we want to hear from people like you and to hear the experience. And this is so valuable uh, to, to anyone listening. Uh, this is not just about insurance. So fantastic. Well, the last question we have for you, I told you my five key takeaways was the last question, but really the last question we have for you is how, how do people get in touch with you? What is the, what is the best way? Well, so we, I will say this as old as I am and as set in my ways as I am, I do know this, that we have to be available in the manner in which our consumers choose to do business with us. So that said, this is a, this should be a fairly extensive list. 
you can Google search Mark Jamison Allstate. I promise it's going to come up. I've got four different locations. Pick the one closest to you. If you don't know which one's closest to you, pick any of them. And it'll go right to our website. It'll give you my, the telephone number. Uh, it'll give you our email address. You know, there's a hundred ways via the internet to get in contact with me. If you're like me and you much prefer to call, just dial 817-447-1139. That'll ring at what we refer to as my uh, home office or our primary location. I don't view it that way. That's the way the company says it because it was my first. So down in sure. Burleson. But uh, you can, you know, it'll go. If, if everybody is on the telephone at Burleson, it will find somebody who's not on the telephone. And by the way, I've had this phone system for about 10 years, and I've never one time seen every single one of my employees on the phone at the same time. Oh, I forgot to tell you this. One of the things that we do different than everybody else is you are never, and listen to this, never going to get voicemail, and you are never, ever going to go through an IVR where you you dial my number, it says punch one for this, two for that, three for this, what's your policy number, what's your birthday, what's your social security, are you willing to give me your firstborn, then you get to talk to somebody, and then the live body says, now tell me who you are and what's your name, what's your policy number, right. you're never, ever going to do that. You're going to get a live voice within 13 seconds every time you call me between 8.30 and 5.30, Monday through Friday. You will always talk to a live body, period, end of story. And so you can call that phone number. You're going to get a live body every single time uh, unless the Internet's down because I do have voice over Internet protocol. If the Internet goes down, I'm in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but beyond that, you are going to talk to somebody uh, or you can email me at mark, M-A-R-K dot Jameson, J-A-M-E-S-O-N at allstate.com. So you can get me the internet, telephone, website, my email address I just gave you. It, what else can I do? Uh, there, there's not much else. I mean, I, you're even on social media and everything else. So, Oh, I forgot. Yes, we do have a Facebook we we have an Insta Twittergram book or something, whatever that is about. <laughs> something, something like my that. My daughter, my young daughter, uh, handles all that for me. I just she tells me what we have because uh, I'm not even sure. So. Yeah, that is great. I don't personally, I don't personally Twittergram myself. So <laughs> that is great. Well, we really, we really appreciate you being on today, and we want to make sure that everyone subscribes to this podcast and also gives us a review on uh, Mark and, and what your thoughts were on him. Uh, we, we know it will be great. Also, we want to remind you, and don't forget, that if you're looking for insurance quotes that don't sting, which everyone should be, check out brightbee.com, and you will find Mark Jamison there as well with an amazing profile, a great bio, and some videos. Hope everyone has a wonderful day, and we will talk to you soon.